Hey everybody, this is Andy Baldacci from Sabersim, and today I'm going to show you how to use CSVs to quickly enter or edit all of your lineups on DraftKings. Now, I'm going to walk you through all the steps. It's not that complicated. Uh, it's a little bit annoying and kind of a pain in the ass, but DraftKings and FanDuel as well have rules in place to prevent uh, custom programs, scripts, whatever, from interacting with their site. Uh, and this is just so that professionals aren't able to get uh, an edge on everyone else by having custom software that lets them enter and edit their lineups instantly. So that being said, let's just get right into it. And the first thing you want to do is just make sure you're entered in all the turns you want to play. I've got 150 in the Minimax, 10 in the Relay Throw, and then a couple of single entries as well. So once we have everything in there, we're going to go to the lineups page so that we can download all of our entries. So from here, you just click Edit Entries. Make sure that the right slate is selected over here on the left, which it is, and then click Download. All right, now we have to get our lineups. So I'm going to jump over to Sabersim and download the CSV from there. And so with both of these CSVs, we now need to open them and edit them. And I recommend using Excel as part of Microsoft Office. I'm pretty sure now it's less than $10 a month. Um, but if you don't play DFS that much or you have no other use for any of those programs, you can download a program for free called OpenOffice. It's a little clunkier, a little bit harder to use, but it'll get the job done. That being said, I wouldn't use an online tool like uh, Google Docs, it's just going to be too slow and there's going to be too many moving parts and, and I wouldn't make this process more annoying than it already is. So we've got these, now we're going to open them up in Excel. And the first thing I like to do is just make sure in the DraftKings entry file that all of the contests are kind of grouped together. Um, DraftKings is usually really good about this, sometimes FanDuel is not. And so it might be excessive, but I just want to make sure that all the tournaments are kind of listed in a row. And so for these 150 mini max, I don't want to have a couple of single entries right in the middle of them. So I just do a quick scroll to make sure kind of nothing jumps out. All right, so those look good. Now we just have to get those lineups from the CSV file that we got from Sabersim into the entry file. So what I do is just click the first player's name on the left. Scroll down to the bottom and click all the way down on the right and hold shift to select them all and then copy those. Then I want to find the tournament where I'm putting in my full set of lineups. And so for this, it's the Minimax. Click in the top left and just paste. And then you're just going to do a quick check to make sure you, you have the right number of lineups there. And all I'm trying to do is just make sure it doesn't kind of extend into other tournaments and that this number of lineups, 150, um, is actually what I entered. So that looks good there. And now we see we've got two single entries here. We had one at the top. And then we've got 10 entries in the relay throw. So we'll do the relay throw next. And I usually will go from the most entries to the least. So what we want to do is select 10 lineups here. So I just highlight that until it gets to count. 10 down there, sweep up that, and then go over and select all of the fields with the players, copy that, click the top left for the first entry on the relay throw, paste, and again, make sure it all lines up. And so the top 10, the first 10 lineups uh, in the CSV file from Sabersim are going to be your 10 best lineups, uh, at least according to the projections. And so for the other tournaments, what I do is just enter the top lineups based on however many I have. So in the 150, obviously, I'm going to put in all of them. But for this one where I have 10 entries, I'm going to put in the top 10. And then in the single entry ones, I'm going to do uh, my top lineup. Some people do different builds based on the number of entries they have in a tournament. You can do that. Um, I, I That's just not the way I play. But if you do that, you're just going to follow the same process. You'll just have a few more lineup files you need to copy and paste from. So anyways, we're going to select... This first top lineup, copy it, paste it for the daily dollar, paste it for chin music. Going to go to the top and paste it for the base hit. Now we're going to save it. And I like to save it as a new file um, just because if, if you're going to be uploading entries throughout the day or 
you're doing different slates, whatever, it can just get a bit messy and you don't want to, with a minute left before lock, uh, get a bunch of errors because you uploaded the wrong file or enter older lineups that you didn't want to play anymore. So all I do is just add the sport and then just the time. So we save it there. And now we're just going to jump back into DraftKings. So on the same edit entries page you're on before, we're just going to go over here where it says upload entries and click upload CSV. We're going to find the right entry file. So we have that right here. Double click. It's going to upload it. You just want to make sure there's no errors. And then I usually just go back to the lineups page and make sure I now have a bunch of lineups in there. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, it definitely requires a little more work than I wish it did. But as you can see through this video, it's not rocket science. And once you've done it a few times, it really will become second nature. If you do have any questions about any of this, though, you can always reach out to us at support at sabersim.com and just ask any questions about this or anything else DFS related. And we're happy to help. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching.